Hey guys, it's Sarah here. In this video, I'm going to be going over some mnemonics that help me through my nurse practitioner boards. If you like this video, then let me know and I can make more on other mnemonics that have helped me. So let's get started. So the first mnemonic is going to be with cardiac. S-A-L-I, Sally. So that stands for S septal, A anterior, lateral, L, and I inferior. And it's going to go according, basically in order. So septal, V1, V2. A for anterior, V3, V4. L for lateral, V5, V6. And then just remember anterior, 2, 3, and AVF. The mnemonic for cardiac auscultation. Okay, now the next mnemonic is for cardiac auscultation. So you're going to do all physicians earn too much. All, aortic, physicians, pulmonic, earn is herbs, tricuspid is too, and mitral is much. So all physicians earn too much, aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, and mitral. Okay, now the next mnemonic that helped me is for immunizations. So you have the DTAP and then you have the TDAP. So the way to know what age to give to is to for TDAP is for T for tall. So if they're older than seven, just think of them as tall, then they get the TDAP. And if they're under seven, then you could think D for down, then they're short, then they get the DTAP. So D down DTAP, under seven, um, T tall TDAP over seven. Now here are just random medication mnemonics to help me. So if someone has a UTI in pregnancy, then a mnemonic for that is CAMP. Cephalosporin for the C, amoxicillin for the A, M for the macrobide, and P for penicillin, which is also amoxicillin, but I'll just help you remember the mnemonic. So CAMP, cephalosporin, amoxicillin, macrobide, and penicillin. Now a mnemonic to help you remember the medications that you could give a pregnant woman for hypertension is New Little Mama. NLM, new little mama. Nifedipine, labetalol, and methyl dopa. So NLM, new little mama, nifedipine, labetalol, and methyl dopa. Now, another mnemonic is no NSAIDs in a patient with renal. So just think of no NSAIDs. So that's two N's, no, and then the NSAID. And then renal has an N and it like reiterates because re, so reiterates. So no NSAIDs renal patient. Now my last medication mnemonic is for MRSA. If someone has MRSA, you want to treat them with BCD. You know, like ABCD, so BCD. Bactrim, Clinda, and Doxy. Now another mnemonic is for postpartum visits. With all postpartum visits, it's about the Bs. The Bs are baby, breastfeeding or bottle, bleeding, birth control, baby blues. So remember, when you have a patient, if you're in pediatric or if you're dealing with a mom that just gave birth for postpartum visits, you want to do all about the bees. Baby, breast, bottle, bleeding, birth control, baby blues. And another mnemonic for the risk factors for gallstones, you remember the Fs. Female, usually in their 40s, fat, and fertile. And the last mnemonic is going to be about the childhood cancer. So this is a little bit lengthy, but I find it really important to remember. This is not necessarily even for the exam. This is just in general in your practice. So childhood cancer, remember the mnemonic child. So continue. Any, like, anything that's continued. Um, headaches for H, usually with vomiting, but just remember headaches for the mnemonic. I is for increased bone pain or joint pain. L, lump or a mass. D is development of bruise, so that's for child. Continued, H is headache. I is for increased bone or joint pain. L is for lump. D is for development of bruising. And the second word of it, child cancer. So cancer, C is for constant infection. A is for a white in the pupil area. N is for nausea that persist. C is for constant tiredness, I is for eye changes, and R is for recurrent fever, obviously of unknown origin. So, so that's it for now. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye.